Hi, what I thought I'd do is just um, talk you through the state of the pond as it stands at the moment. Uh, it's the 8th of April uh, 2017. And um, yeah, just a quick guide just to just show you what's happening. Right. Now, the unusual thing about this year is I've got my olive in here, my olive prototype. And it's been in here for. Ooh, um, well, wow, so at the end of last summer, it's been it's been in here since. So it's gone it's gone all through the winter, and uh, as you can see, uh, I just need to clean that filter out, which will take uh, about 30 seconds. I just pull the mesh filter out and rinse it in a bucket, and take away this uh, debris that's collected in here because it's uh, it's rather filled up with debris because we've got some ducks that come and reside in here every night. Um, and ducks are not really to be encouraged, but what they do is they, they slice up slice up the plants into little bits. Can you see those little chopped up bits? They're pulling them up from the bottom and all over the place and making a bit of a mess. Um, anyway, for various reasons you shouldn't have ducks. The interesting thing about the olive is that it seems to be inhibiting the blanket weed. If I have a look around the margins, you can see there's no blanket weed whatsoever. Now normally this time of year, especially as the sun has come out now, and it's really quite warm, there's normally a lot of blanket weed. Um, you know, having said that, it does subside once the plants get going, but this year there has been no blanket weed. And yet, you know, I can find plenty of blanket weed in buckets around and uh, in other ponds, but there's none you know, there's none here. Uh, of course, there's loads of rotting vegetation, which oh, I should have um, cut away in the autumn or, or early spring. Or I'll probably still have to do it now, even though we've got new growth. Um, so there's plenty of decaying matter in there, which should mean lots of nutrients. So it should get lots of blanket weed. But I'm figuring that uh, the olive is actually... Um, reducing the nutrient level in the water to such an extent that it inhibits the growth of blanket weed. Anyway, we'll see we'll see what happens, but it's just um it's just quite unusual. So I think the biological filter aspect of the olive seems to be working in a practical application of a natural swimming pool.